today I feel that I apologize from today I will walk 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 I've got it, did everything that is this is what we get and there is a plot that the northerners have plotted with the southerners of which Asari Dokubo came out recently and unveiled that particular plan and agenda and I'm going to be showing you all of that you know this has even drawn to the point where the former president of this particular country Bino Lushegova Sanjo came out recently and reacted I'm going to be showing you what he stated now the question a lot of persons are starting uh, stating is the fact that now that the northerners have a particular plot against Bola Metinimbo come 2027 how come it is not being revealed by Asari Dokubo Asari Dokobo that has always stated the fact and has stood with Bola Metinimbo recalling the last presidential election during the tribunal and all the Supreme Court judgment during when P2B had to file a petition against Bola Metinimbo's presidency where Asari Dokobo came out boldly and stated that if Bola Metinimbo fails in his governance that he should be held responsible. The tunnel has now changed. You need to see what Asari Dokubo came out and made a statement that is so, so detrimental. A lot of persons under the Bola Metinimbo's camp are started asking, how come Asari Dokubo is not the one leaking this particular secret? You recall that the 2027, a plot is about heating up this APC that has now stated that they are here for change. Now, Asari Dokubo came out plainly without any fear no favor. This is the same Asari Dokubo, if you could recall previously. He came out and, you know, went and started confronting the military. That why are they hovering helicopter all over his environment and house? That's a matter of fact, he has the capacity to contain them. Of which the military replied to him that he is just so small for them to consume. Now, Asari Dokubo came out without any fear no favor. In a particular country, we have that set of persons who have made such statements are within the custody of the you know security operative Asari Dokubo came out and made a statement as of which he has even told and made a leak the seat statement and uh, an agenda that he is going to carry out with the northern has come 2027 and years beyond. Now this has now drawn to the point where so many persons are now stating is it that this set of persons are beyond you know holding on or is it that the powers between the presidency and other set of persons cannot hold this same Asari Dokubo who has always supported Muslim Muslim ticket who supported Bola Metinimbu even as you could see on your screen he visited Bola Metinimbu when he assumed office as the presidency how come he's not coming out to leak all the secret behind the doors of this presidency this has not done to the point where you know he even went as far as stating that trust is something that you cannot hold forth that Bola Metinimbu he will do this he will do that I'm going to be showing you those videos and clips of him making those statements outrightly where he have stated it without any fear or no favor. Now, Ulu Shegoba Sanjo came out and made a, a statement recently after Asari Dokubo had made that statement. Something is cooking up in 2027. It is obvious that something is cooking up because Bola Metinibu had now, you know, sacked some ministers and so many persons are stating that these ministers he sacked are probably the ministers that are, don't have this voting strength. That don't have the voting strength within the southeastern part of the country, the south south part of the country, and the northern part of the country. For Asari Dokubo to come out and start making alliance with the northerners against 2027 and making statements that are too detrimental, it is so alarming. Now, a lawmaker came out and now made a statement, Bin Abaribe, stating that the marginalization the southeastern part of the country are facing is beyond measures. Listen attentively. And sometimes when I discuss with my friends in the administration, the first thing they ask me, ah, you Ibos. What do you want? I want to tell everyone, what do the Igbos want? Fairness and equity, which is in the Constitution. That's all that we want. Treat us as you're treating everybody else. The Igbo ethos is let the hawk and the eagle perch. Let no one oppress the other. Every Igbo person is imbued inside us. So any time that an Igbo person sees that you're not treating him fairly, they come out. And so for the Southeast, as far as they are concerned, okay, you can change, but like the French say, plus a shant, plus a men shows. The more things change, the more they remain the same. Right. So basically, your assessment is that the Southeast has been shortchanged in this Latest from shuffle. beginning, right? From beginning, okay. What does this constitution say? The constitution says that you have to have one minister per state. Now, from uh, the Obasanjo government, they started having 42 because they have one for zone. But even President Buhari, that did not, uh, as far as we know, 
have any empathy for the South East, still give one more minister to the South East. And so, but what do we have today? Just that five for the five states of the South East. So, when our people say this is renewed Shege, we, that means that we're even worse off than we were before now. And so, if you're just going to give us only that thing that the Constitution stipulates for us, yet some zones, there are six, have ten ministers, some have nine, some have seven. You want to ask yourself, is it fair? Is it just? Is it equitable? If it's not, then if you now tell, tell us, okay, uh, you're doing well for us, we'll wait for tomorrow. As far as the South East is concerned, waiting for Godo. Having listened attentively to what Abari Bey has stated, it is obvious that he's standing firm as a South Eastern senator to state that what the South Eastern part of the country needs is equity, fairness, and justice in all ramifications. Now, as you could see on the screen, Olusha Gobasan just stated that why will Ibos be denied presidency? That he even had intentions of contesting for top 10, but because of equity, fairness, and justice, he had no option than to leave it. So, why is it that they are now stating that the Ibos cannot be president, that the presidency cannot go to the you know, south eastern part of the country. And these are the type of things that P2B faced when he contested. Now, see if that is not enough, as you could see, Asadi Dokubo came out and made a statement. Listen attentively to all what he has stated, and when we come back, we'll continue. The Tinibu I knew, <laughs> and I took all the bullets, emptied my account for, and said, hold me responsible. Hey, people say, in talk say, if Tinibu said, hold me responsible. Tinibu fell on me right Yes, I said it. It was the Tinibu I knew. I have so much confidence in him. But the Tinibu I'm seeing today. <laughs> Monkey say when he carry him picking for back. They go in on no way to him picking collect. So make nobody hold him uh, responsible. Eh? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Monkey say when he carry in picking for back, they go. He no know what he picking carry and collect for back. He's a child. They make nobody hold him. Uh, Responsible. Yes. This is um, um, the one who happened for in front. I ain't go, no. I know. Now you know. Yes, it has taught me a very big lesson that sometimes trust, trust is very expensive. The Tinibu I knew, and I took all the bullets, emptied my account for, and said, hold me responsible. Tinibu becoming president, all of you, I need, the powder that I bought for my body, yes, yes. that mine, the happiness, my aunties there, the happiness for this village, the people who know voters, they don't even come out. We kill cows. Joy, what I get? I pop out that for my body like a new bomb baby. I don't buy new bomb baby. Today, I feel that I apologize to our fathers like the Patri, that meant for the kilo. That they were not wrong in forming alliance with the North. And as young men, we will now start that same alliance now. As I am today, from today, I will walk. Walk, walk, and form alliance with the North, and to crush all the opposition. Because those who hate us, whatever we do for them, does not mean anything to them. Whatever we people do to them, does not mean anything to them. We will go all over the, all over each other. We will take this message that is only the Northerners that can work with the job people. We cannot work with the robot people. They are betrayers to us. We risked our life, voted, did everything. That is, this is what we get. Have not listened attentively to what Asari Dokubo has stated. This is obvious. Where he stated outrightly that he is going to now play pledge alliance with the Northerners. That 
He is no longer walking alongside with Bola Metinimbu, neither the Yorubas that they are betrayers, that he walk alongside with Northerners. Recall that the Northerners have always glamoured over the Southern Presidency and they have walked, started, you know, started making plans of unseating Bola Metinimbu come 2027. So, Asari Dokubo now, he's now taking the Southern part of the country to the Northern part, working against the Yorubas based on the 2027 Presidency, where he has stated that in as much as he supported Bola Metinimbu all through the campaign period, all through the election, even the tribunal, that a monkey, he doesn't know what a monkey could take at the back of the mother. This is Asari Dokubo, a man with double coin of mouth because of stomach infrastructure, because Bola Metinimbu has denied him all access of the, you know, the, 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 the national treasury. That is why he has now started speaking outright bad about this particular government. So many persons are now stating that this your statement about you working alliance with the North against Bola Metinimbu and APC is not going to work because this has always been your way. You have always made statements that are not even equitable. Now, as you could see on your screen, Lushego Obasanjo came out plainly and and made a very significant statement. So many persons are now stating, is it that Bola Metinimbu is now, you know, not in good alliance with Olusio Gobasanjo? As you could see, Olusio Gobasanjo stated, a Nigerian president, he does not want to call Bola Metinimbu's name outright. He said, came into office without a plan. He just opened his mouth and made a pronouncement on something that had not been studied, which is the statement Bola Metinimbu made on that very day of inauguration that subsidy has gone he stated the president came out and opened his mouth and made a statement that he has not checked if the policies of removing the subsidy is going to work or not that look at the hardship it has brought now it, you cannot find it very clear that you know asari dokubo have now started making alliance with the northerners and uh, uh, Sanjo is outrightly you know telling bola metinimbu the obvious without any fear of ever so come 2027 this is going to build up by you know the northerners are now working alongside with the satanas and now they are now calling the Yorubas that they are betrayers that they cannot work with them. Asari Dokubo is the one making this statement. So many persons are so shivering that they cannot believe that Asari Dokubo will be the person to make this type of statement. Right on the comment section, I've been listening attentively to what Asari Dokubo has stated. Leaking the secret of the alliance they have now with the Northern has come to in 27 and all of that. Don't forget to share. Like and also hit the subscribe button. What is your take on what Asari Dokubo has stated and what Abari has stated that fairness, justice and equity should be transparent so that justice is going to be done. Don't forget to share. Like and also hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification below this particular channel. So let's get information promptly when we drop them here.